Welcome to Zcast, everyone. I'm ZS Caravella from ZK Research, and I'm here at uh, Saster 2024 in San Mateo, California. I'm inside the IBM Speakeasy Lounge, although it looks like I'm on the eighth hole or the seventh hole at uh, Pebble Beach Golf Links. I'm here with Brenner Adams, the Chief Growth Officer at True Golf. Uh, Brenner, just a quick intro on yourself and what is True Golf? Thank you for the opportunity. Yeah. And uh, first of all, for myself. Um, I've had a friend describe my career as nothing like a career. I've had a little bit of ADHD, but spent time in healthcare, spent time in video games with Xbox, helped launch the Xbox, Xbox Live, and Xbox 360. Wow. Uh, and that's where I got to know the team at TrueGolf. TrueGolf has been making golf software since 1982. Made a very famous PC-based golf game called Lynx, Lynx 386. Lynx I remember OS. that game. You remember that, yes. right? So Microsoft acquired the PC division of True Golf. That's where the things kind of bifurcated. I think I played a lot uh, of Harbor Town in that golf course. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay, great. So it has quite quite a long yeah. legacy and lots of uh, golf uh, addicts that that remember those games. Anyhow, sold the PC division off to Microsoft, and then uh, the founder Chris Jones said, "Look, this is great." mouse and keyboard, but I want to swing a real club. So that's how True Golf really was born and came into its current uh, inc incantation, I guess I could say, uh, by selling software for golf simulation and developing hardware as well now. So for the last 20 years, been making software uh, that works on everybody's hardware in the industry. Uh, and in the last two, three years have really leaned into proprietary hardware as well. Now, uh, as I mentioned, we are in the IBM Speakeasy Lounge and um uh, one of the things they're known for is their AI engine, Watson yes. X. And uh, what, what, what are you trying to do with AI within the True Golf platform? Great question. Uh, we originally leveraged AI in our hardware to help us uh, improve accuracy and make sure we aren't just calculating spin, but we're actually measuring spin, right? To be as accurate as possible to keep with our namesake, True Golf, right? Want to be true to the sport. Uh, so we started there, and then we started looking at other ways to leverage AI throughout the ecosystem. And oddly enough, we got a call from Roger Primo from IBM, who actually plays our software on, one of his, on his system at home with his daughter. Great story, got to know Roger, and he said, look, I, I was kind of curious, what, what could we do with AI with Watson X? Now that we've done the masters and we've done some golf integration, we've got this depth of knowledge in the golf space. Uh, maybe we should do something together. So that's kind of what started it and got us going with IBM. They've been a great partner and that's kind of the, the impetus for this partnership. And which IBM products are you using? Right now, just Watson X. Okay. Uh, so we're an integrated partner, a global silver partner, and it's been wonderful working with IBM to adapt what they've already done for this specific application so that we could bring that auto commentary that you would see on the master's tour, but that you could get that auto commentary in the golf experience while you're golfing. So uh, right now it's not too snarky, right? There's opportunities to get a little bit of smack talk built in uh, down the road. And, and so for the people watching, describe what the auto commentary is. So as you're swinging in the golf simulator, First, the auto commentary will introduce you, especially for this uh, expo-based environment. We like to ask you some questions about yourself, so it'll comment and have a little fun with, with the information you've fed Watson X. But then as you swing, Watson X will take all the metadata that we're storing from every swing. We're gathering millions of swings a day, but it'll take that data that we feed it and Watson X will adapt to your swing, the, the backspin, the placement of the ball, the environmental effects and, and give you kind of a fun commentary or dialogue as you're golfing that makes it a little more interactive and almost makes you feel like you're living a tour experience by having someone with that commentary over the top talk about you and your friends as you're golfing. So I don't have the Jim Nance following me around. <laughs> That's right. <Yeah. laughs> uh, you also don't have to come here from the peanut gallery of your friends all the time, yeah. right? So uh, Watson X is, is filling in, having a little bit of fun, but not leaving too much room for your friends yeah. to make fun of your, uh, your swing. I still do that. Yeah, uh, that's true. Now, from a data perspective, on, a, on the average swing, how many data points are you collecting? Uh, it varies, but yeah. typically we've got about 15 to 18 data points that we're gathering uh, and pushing into the software. There's more like 50 to 60 data points that we're gathering to initially feed that into the software. So we don't give Watson, a, uh, Watson X all of that information. What we'll do is give them the data that we're feeding into our software system, the, the consolidated data so that it knows how to react based on the golf course, based on the humidity, the altitude, the wind. There's all these other environmental effects that go into 
how Watson X talks about the performance of each swing. And there's plenty of AI platforms out there. And so I'm curious, why do you choose Watson X and what's up working with IBM been like? Well, we looked at a couple and we, um, Nate Larson, our chief experience officer, explored a couple of situations. Uh, he and I were at Xbox together, so he's got a pretty good uh, network, I should say, of people in the AI space. But really, it was Roger reaching out to us and saying, guys, we're, we're really interested. We've, uh, True Golf had two or three engagements with IBM in the past and looked at doing different activations. But now the technology is at the point where we could really come together in a more powerful way. So that's kind of what initiated this, that, that reach out by Roger, but working with IBM has been phenomenal. Whether it's initial ideation, here's what data we have, what can you do with it, um, the the modeling basically for for Watson X to be able to determine what the what the conversational flow was different from broadcast right it's got to be a little bit different because it's catered to you personally uh, so not only that from the technical side and and the APIs and everything needed to pass the data but also just from a partnership level they've been fantastic helping us identify cost savings and helping us find ways to invest in the partnership together and making those mutual investments has been uh, really an amazing uh, partnership all right. And uh, just one last question: What's next for the partnership? What do you what do you want to do with this platform next? Oh, it's so exciting! Yeah. Uh, we, we were just talking earlier that there's some great things on the roadmap for the next 12 to 18 months by taking Watson X. I was talking a little bit about the Smack Talk, right? They yeah. call it a Smackometer. Can we dial that up? Can we dial that down? Can we make it specific to a golfer? So if it's my simulator, it's complimentary to me. But when my friends come over, it makes fun of them. So there's some customization that we're looking at from the auto commentary, but also different aspects of the golf simulation, whether it's the training or even caddy work, suggesting which club mm. for which environment based on your swing data. So we're able to gather all your swings, obviously, so we know your club dispersion. How good are you with a seven iron? How good are you with the driver? How bad are you with a pitching wedge, right? So by evaluating those scenarios, then we can empower Watson X to give you much more useful information and insight as you're preparing for your game of golf. Yeah, I, um, uh, I was talking to Scott Gutterman from the PGA Tour, and we were talking about how they think of AI has been able to bring um, uh, allow the non-trained eye to see what the trained eye does, and and uh, certainly everybody who's using one of these at home, uh, you know, or even at a simulator, doesn't have the trained eye. So I guess that you're doing that for them. You're right, and in fact, uh, we've seen an explosion in participation of golf, right? And so as we have more participants in golf, um, as people have golfed off course more than they've golfed on course, right? It's harder and harder to get a tee time, and it, it, it takes longer. There's all kinds of complexities. We, we yeah. love outdoor golf, right? We want to be true to golf. And uh, But what we found, we've rolled out a, a global franchise program, for example, that will enable way more people to be able to step into the golf game and be able to learn. And so we want to leverage Watson X to be able to improve the, the pace of learning, to be able to deliver experiences that enable some of those early entrants or recent entrants into the game of golf to be able to learn faster. How can we log those 100 hours and take it from having to have 10,000 hours to be an expert to maybe 1,000 hours by getting guided, intuitive tutorials and, and training and, and uh, challenges and things like that that are built in our software already and leverage Watson X to enable people to get there faster. All right. Anything else you want to add, Brian? Uh, no. Thank you very much okay. for your time. And I want to thank IBM. They've been a great partner, and we're grateful to be here with them. All right. So from uh, Saster 24 inside the IBM Speakeasy Lounge, I guess inside the True Golf booth inside the Speakeasy Lounge, uh, on behalf of Brenner Adams, I'm Zias Caravalla from CK Research, and thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. I'm the next episode of Zcast. Thanks, Brenner. Thank you. Thanks.